Okay, so as usual, I have a prop with me today. Anybody know what that is? What do you think it is, Simon? It's a salt shaker. Raise your hand if you have a salt shaker at your house. Yeah, I know Hadley does. Because probably everybody in this room, when they go to sit down at their dining room table or the kitchen table for mealtime, there is a salt shaker on the table. We find salt shakers at our houses. We find salt shakers at restaurants. Even fast food restaurants like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's probably have salt shakers or little packets of salt somewhere that you can pick up to add salt to your food. But let me ask you this. When you set a table, is salt the only thing that you put on the table? No, it's not. What else do you put on your table, Simon? Plates, napkins, and silverware. Plates, napkins, silverware, yeah. But there's something else that goes with salt that we put on our tables. What? Pepper. We also put pepper shakers. So I've got a salt shaker and a pepper shaker with me this morning. Now salt and pepper are a very popular food pairing that lots of people are familiar with. And there are many, many other popular food pairings like peanut butter and jelly. Do you eat that yet, Hadley? Yeah. And maybe hamburgers and french fries or bacon and eggs. There are lots and lots of food pairings. And salt and pepper is the one we want to focus on today. Now, if you look carefully, you can see that my salt and pepper shaker are very similar. They're in the same containers, aren't they? But my salt and pepper shakers are see-through. So you can see that salt and pepper are not at all alike on the inside, are they? And you know what? If you taste salt and pepper, they taste a lot different too. But when you put salt and pepper together, they make a wonderful flavor combination. And when I think about salt and pepper, it makes me think about friendship. Now, I'm pretty sure from things I've heard from you at home, Simon, you have a lot of friends at school, don't you? And Hadley, you're still a little bit young, but I bet you have a couple of friends, maybe through your cousins. But as you get older, you're going to make lots and lots of friends. What I want you to do right now, though, is think about that one friend who you would call your closest friend or maybe your best friend. Let me ask you something. Are you and your best friend exactly alike? No, no you're not. For one thing, I guarantee you and your best friend don't look exactly alike, do you? No. God made us all different, and that's okay. So not only do we look different from our best friends, but we might have some other differences too, and that's okay. It's normal for friends to have some differences, but in spite of that, friends get along in good times and bad. Just like salt and pepper make a boring, bland meal taste a lot more delicious. True friends can work together in a bad situation to take that bad situation and turn it into something good. You'll never find a salt shaker without a pepper shaker sitting right beside it. And just like salt and pepper, true friends will be there to stick together no matter where you are or what situation you're going through. You don't have to look exactly like your best friend. You don't have to have everything in common. The most important thing is that you are there for each other when it matters. In addition to your friends at school, your friends in the neighborhood, we have a friend that is with us all the time, never goes away. Do you have a guess who that friend is, Simon? God, God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Yep. They are with us. There's a Bible verse that says, he's a friend that sticks closer than a brother. So I want you to remember that as you go out into your week this week, whether you see your friends or you don't see your friends, whether you get along with your friends or you have a little squabble on the recess yard, you have a friend that is closer to you and is with you always, and that is God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Will you pray with me, please? Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for friendship. 
Thank you for the things we have in common with our friends and for the things that are different between us and our friends. Help us remember that this is the different, that the differences that add spice to our lives. Amen.